What's up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video we will be playing another game of chess and if I'm not wrong this is my 10th episode of chess adventures so this is like something special and uh, we'll be playing you already know it 10 minute game of chess against somebody random on chess.com so if you're interested in seeing more videos on this topic, more of my chess adventures and or chess reviews, I will be linking them in the video description down below so you can check them out, uh, out if you want to, of course. Uh, plus, if you want to be friends, like, let's go, add me on chess.com. Name is just like my channel name, which is Zappa Zapeti, and we can be friends and we can play together. And if you have any sort of advices, techniques, uh, strategies for chess, for, and you want me to use them in a video or you want to be in a video and play against me in a video we can make that happen you know everything is possible so just add me on chess.com and we can be friends so without further ado we will just uh, start my screen recording right now and uh, let's find a victim hopefully here so let's click play hopefully I will be playing as white so I can try and um, Okay, yeah, I'm white, so we'll be doing the London system here because I learned it a couple of days ago and uh, I had a lot of fun while playing the London system. So here I am um, opening with d4 and he immediately puts his knight to c6, uh, attacking my, uh, my, oh my god, my pawn. So I'll be taking out my horse first because, I mean... This bishop has to go here, so I'll be taking on my horse first, and everything else is just going to go in perfect order, hopefully. Uh, but usually in the London system, if you're new, if you're a beginner, just like me, I just learned that, that this is like the strategy of going pawn to d4, and then bishop uh, to, what is this, f4. Uh, so we will be doing that right now, just to, um, you know, develop my pieces. So, okay, he d does this, and now I'm not sure whether or not I should just go back, or should I put this here, and then if he takes it uh, with his horse, I have a horse, and my horses are more, impor more important here, so, or should I just go back? Now I'm starting to get confused. Um, well, uh... You know what, I'm going to take it, so I take it to he here and he can take it with his horse and then I take it with my horse and my horse is in a perfect place where I want it to be so I'm going to take this pawn. Yeah, because I want my horse from here to jump there, so I think that we should definitely try to get rid of this horse here. And if he does not take, then at least I have a pawn, you know, but we'll see in a moment. Oh my god, what is this man even doing? What does he want to do here? Oh, he wants to jump over here. And, um, yeah. Okay, so now I'm kind of behind in my development because this man is just probably playing something like anti-London or something, I do not know. Or maybe he's just, um, wait, but then I can, no, I can't take that. Uh, 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 um, so now I have to defend this pawn somehow, even though if he jumps here, wait, what is his plan? Where can he jump? No, he's not attacking this. Okay, so then I'm pretty good, I think. Let's just play e3 and hope for the best, honestly. Uh-huh, okay, so... Da, 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 da. Let's do this and let's see what will happen. But yeah, I I'm trying my best to like stay calm in these games and I realize that I just have to uh think about like what's changed. Can he is he attacking me or am I attacking him? So he is now here defending this horse, so I can't do anything much with that. Um so now I should just castle, right? Or should I bring back this? But this is defended. Oh, I have to take this out. Yeah, and then I'm going to castle. See? 
Now I can castle, right? I think so. Yeah, I knew that he was going to do that. Um, so now I have to move my queen somewhere. So let's see where, 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 where should we go? Or do we have some sort of check maybe? I mean, if I take this, then my queen is just that. So... Hmm. Let's go here. Honestly, I'm kind of... Uh, I hope you can see me, you know. I changed my camera to this place. Wait, what did he take? He took my bishop. Fine, but now I can take either his bishop or his horse. I can take his horse with my queen and I can take his bishop with my horse. Um, let's see. <laughs> Honestly, let's take the horse, right? Because horses can jump over and I'm not a big fan of them jumping into my territory. So I'm just going to do that. And now he's attacking my queen. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so what can I do in a position like this? Well, maybe just go back, right? Hmm. Okay, so now I'm thinking. Uh, but I realized that I, I need a lot of time to think, you know? I need a lot of time to think. That's why I'm playing 10 minute games. 10 minute games truly give me enough uh, time to think about my moves. Uh, if I go here, then he's just going to take out his pawn and then I have to move my queen again. So let's move her somewhere to safety, uh, hopefully. So let's, let's do, oh my God, I'm running out of time. Let's put her back here and just see what is going to happen because I want to take this bishop. But he's now once again attacking my, oh my God. Is that the fork? No, it's not. Okay, well then, I still have the bishop. If he does not move, I still have the bishop. So I just have to find a move where I will be free enough to take the bishop. Because now he was attacking me um, too many times. Okay, so now we can finally take the bishop. Thank you. So see, he took my two pawns, but um, I mean, I can take this, right? Because if he takes it with his queen, then um, then I take his queen with, with my uh, bishop. But I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Maybe I should just bring it back here. I'm kind of running out of time, honestly. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. You know what? I do not care. Let's just do it. Let's play intuitive chess now. <laughs> because I realize that sometimes my intuition is too... Oh, he castle. Fine. Um... Sometimes my intuition is just too good to be true. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so I... I have to do something here. Definitely. Or oh, maybe this was not a good idea because I cannot connect my rooks here because of this annoying horse. Uh, but I can just attack him from here. He pre-moved this or what, what happened? Um... But this is still safe as far as I can see, so I can just take the horse, right? Yeah, let's take the horse. So now I'm plus five. I'm actually in a better position than he is. I mean, my pieces are more developed. Oh, I won by resignation. So, okay, this was a pretty chill game, honestly. This person, oh, it's funny. We have a pretty similar, I mean, similar rating. I have... 614 he has 641 
uh, but yeah, I was in a complete winning position. It says plus 8.21. So I'm uh, pretty much almost a queen up here, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I have two blunders, which is okay, I guess. Because, uh, you know, sometimes I have like 10 or 8 blunders. So this is pretty fine. Let's see what the bot says. Uh, who was winning? See, I was still in a better position, right? Yeah, the bot is not moving. Yeah, okay, this is just, oh, okay. So yeah, I won by resignation because even though I was kind of running low on time, I had three minutes and 45 seconds, but I actually did pretty well. See, I'm, I'm very, very, in a very good position because I took the horse and now I do not know what else can he do, pretty much. I mean, he has a light square bishop, but all of my pieces, almost all of them are on the, the dark square or pink square on my board. And yeah, I have a lot of different pieces. I mean, I could have put my bishop next here to attack the, the rook probably, or somehow connect the rooks or jump over with my horse. And I just had a full on freedom of doing whatever I want. So th this was actually a pretty good game, pretty solid. So we're going to stop my screen recording and we're back at the full screen, everyone. So yeah, this was pretty chill game. I actually really enjoyed playing this. Like I was um, playing pretty intuitively, honestly, but uh, the London system gives you a lot of uh, freedom and it gives you a lot of uh, possibilities to to defend yourself and possibilities to attack your opponent and it's just very very fun so this journey of learning the london and the learning chess in general has been very very fun i, I truly enjoy it you know from the bottom of my heart this is very fun and um i'm very uh happy that i managed to uh like improve you know, because 10 days ago, I wouldn't be able to play like this. I didn't know any openings and now I know the system and um, now I'm getting better and I'm thinking uh, about it a bit uh, more, even though still, you know, if you watch any of my videos, you still know that I blunder <laughs> a lot and that uh, I make some questionable moves. But, uh, you know, how can I say this? Uh, sorry, my, my brain sometimes uh, sometimes stops. Uh, see, my brain sometimes s stops functioning. Jesus, because English is my second language, and I I think I my English skills are pretty good, uh, considering that it's my second language. There are more than fine, uh, but just sometimes it's hard for me to find the word, and then I forget it in English, and then I forget it in Croatian, and then I forget the whole thing that I was going to say, and it's just uh, very, very tough, you know, to remember the word on spot. But yeah, that's it, everyone. Uh, I'm drinking my coffee here. And that was the, oh my god, I started another screen recording by accident. But I just wanted to say that I'm very happy that you know, you can see some improvement. It's not much probably, but improvement is still here and it's going to stay here with us for a very long time because I'm learning kind of from ground up. I had no one in my life to teach me how to play chess. And especially when I was a kid, I, when I was a kid, I was interested in playing chess. Like I was very, very young. And I remember going to an ice cream shop and there uh, uh, they had like a table that was chess table and with little drawers with the pieces. And I was very, very young and me and my friend played chess as kids. And she was always bragging about how she won a, a championship or something, even though those were probably like kids lies, you know, but this, it made me feel very... Uh, weird because I just wanted to learn and play but she was constantly bragging about her skills So it wasn't like she was trying to teach me. It was more like she was trying to show me that she's better So that's why I uh, kind of stopped playing as a kid and then later in life I just I told you in my first video and I think I repeated this through multiple videos already That I had some problems with like quitting because I would get angry when I lose But now you can see a lot of improvement like I'm just 
starting to get pretty pretty chill in this and I'm actually starting to learn and actually starting to make better moves because of this so this is just like a conclusion of this you can apply it into real life as well because if you're chill and if you're like completely fine with what's happening even if you make mistake you do not um, you do not uh, beat yourself over it everything is going to turn out good and you're actually the one having the advantage because you're calm and you're chill so even if somebody is winning uh, but they're a person who is um, hot tempered I guess uh, then uh, you know you're still winning because you're chill you're not letting that um, defeat come to you and and uh, touch your emotions and uh, break you you know so that's what I learned while playing chess and that has been a very 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 good thing for me and I'm very happy that I decided to film my videos about this and started again to learn chess and to play chess because it helped me to calm down and it helped me to learn how to lose and that is the most important thing because in life you're definitely going to stumble upon some people that are going to want not so good things for you and that are going to try to break you down and you're going to lose in some some things you know you're going to have some problems occur in your life definitely we all have so when you learn how to lose through this you're going to also make better decisions and better um actions in real life as well so if you like have a problem but you learn how to lose and you got over that fear of losing you're going to react in a much better way because you learned that already maybe through chess maybe through some other games maybe through life experience who knows but I, i'm just saying that this is actually a very good thing because it, it applies uh, on real life and it's very very amazing so yeah this was a little bit of me talking about some conclusions that i have but <clears throat> but yeah i'm genuinely pretty pretty happy with this and as you can see i managed to get better uh, if you saw like any uh, of those two blunders that I made as the bot here says like please let me know in the comments because I'm still not that good to <laughs> to to notice any of those maybe like if I try to analyze the game very deeply but uh, probably with the help of a bot so yeah that's it everyone uh, thank you for watching uh, this video I hope that you enjoyed this game of chess as much as I did it, it was very very fun and once again if you want to be friends and me on chess.com and uh like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this which is going to be be pretty pretty frequently um almost every day but you know so on some days i try to like have a break uh so i do not feel my head with chess all the time uh, but i still play chess just i do not film a video for at least one day then I go back to it you know ju just to have some free time and space to think about other things and to uh, enjoy some free time but this is very very fun thank you everyone for supporting me and uh, this channel is very very close to my heart already even though I have just been filming for 10 days I feel very connected to this channel and honestly it uh, it's just because it helped me to grow as a person that much and that is why I I feel emotionally connected to this. But yeah, that's it everyone. Uh, now I should definitely go and do some other things. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, leave some comments, suggestions, whatever uh, in the comments down below. I very much appreciate that. And if you want to play, if you want to be in a video, again, chess.com, we can make a video together and it is going to be pretty, pretty fun. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Enjoy your coffee or tea or whatever you're drinking. Take it slow, take it easy and just enjoy this wonderful rest of the day or beginning of the day for some people um, that you have and just take it easy and good luck with your games. And once again, thank you for support. And that's pretty much it. Bye bye. I love you.